Hello there. What is going on, everybody? Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Ahsoka Replica Sabers. These are from Galaxy's Edge at Disney World or Disneyland, depending on which one you have access to. And uh, these are from Doc Ongar's, uh, you know, merchandise shop. It's kind of like the really high-end merchandise shop. And uh, we're going to take a look at these sabers and, uh, you know, just want to kind of run through them. We're going to talk about the cost. We're going to talk about what I think of them. And then we'll compare them to a couple of other sabers as well. So if you're not familiar, they have this type of box for all of the different replica sabers. Now, I have already reviewed uh, my own custom saber that I was able to build in Savi's workshop. Uh, that one does not come with a box. That one, you get like basically a big old sheath. You can put that one in instead. Uh, and so... You know, there's all kinds of stuff that you can do for those. You can get new kyber crystals for those and all kinds of accessories and belt clips and all of that. But then they also have kind of like this counter. And then you can get these. And it's going to open up in here. And it's got this nice little foam stuff. So, it, like, it keeps them nice and clean. And they have all different types of different sabers they've got. Like Vader. They've got Obi-Wan, Luke, etc. They've even got some more rare ones. Like Ahsoka. And this is the one that I really like. Now, we're going to look at these. This set is $199, which is not bad. At first, I was thinking, wow, it's like $150 for, for most of the other ones. Well, in this one, I get two savers for only a little bit more. But there's an issue because all you get is this. You get these two. I mean, you don't get the blades, and so you have to buy the blades separately. So we will look at that. Now, these are kind of wide. Some people uh, have seen these and said, you know, that feels like it's, you know, it's kind of wide in my hand. Now, I've got big hands. It's not a problem for me to grip these, but I can definitely understand what they're saying because it is they're, they're big sabers. And I don't imagine Ahsoka as the type of species to have, uh, you know, like huge hands. She seems a little bit petite. So, I, like, I'm not sure if these are really her, uh, you know, like, as thick as uh, they might be for, for her, but uh, but yes. So you've got the shorter one here in the bottom, and you have the longer one on the top. And we're going to take a look at both of these. And they're very similar, but as you can see, this one here has this extra leathery part. Now, there are some safety and instructional stickers. I will eventually remove these, but I didn't want to take them off just yet because I did want you guys to see, like, press on or press off. And, yeah, this button, you're, you know, you just you just tap it. Now, one of the things that you're going to notice right away is these sabers don't do anything if you just push the button. You will have to have a blade in for them to do anything at all. And that is a little bit of a difference uh, compared to the other sabers. Um, for example, let me put this back in here. If I take the blade out of my custom saber here, if I go to hit the switch on it, it gives you that kind of fizzle sound like it's not going to work. Um, however, with the Ahsoka Sabers, it is not going to do that. Now, uh, they do also have this little clip here. Uh, this is not really enough to get it to go on the belt clip. So I'm going to show you. Uh, this is one of the belt clips. And it doesn't really, it doesn't lock in there. It's just not, it's not big enough. Um, so if you want to display these, you're going to have to use this hook. And the belt clips that they sell um, additionally come with this Thing here and so you can hook it on there and it, it carries it just fine and that's actually a pretty slick way to do it actually it makes more sense because if the blade were to ignite it would not go up and then cut you in half it would just maybe you know hit the ground or maybe your feet but I'd certainly rather you know it, it, it slice a toe off than right go th right through my sternum so yes um yeah but these are very very nice and uh these are not as customizable because you really can't do uh, anything on the inside with them. The only thing you can do, if you do unscrew these, you can go ahead and uh, get this off. And this is where the battery compartment is. Um, I will say, I have no idea how you're going to get the batteries out of here when they do die. Um, because that's in there really tight. Um, maybe there's a trick to it. Maybe you got to, you know, shake it free. You know, maybe is it coming out a little bit? Yeah, it's coming out a little bit. It doesn't really want to come out, so maybe it'll take some pliers or something. There it goes. There it goes. Okay. So it's not as hard as I thought. All right. But, uh, yeah. So just shake it a little bit. It'll come out. 
Um, but fortunately, they do come with batteries, unlike most other, um, like Hasbro, for example, they do not come with batteries. So we'll put this back in there. Um, and this is a pretty nice case you're getting as well to display uh, your two sabers in. I think it's... Um, Oh, did we get it in there? We're getting it in there. Ah, well, I'll do that later. But the case, let me set these aside. So the case is nice. You've got like a, a foam piece in here. Um, and then, a, you know, it's kind of cheap on the inside. I'm not going to lie. It's a little on the cheaper side. However, oh, we've got a little, what's this? Like a, a little note in there. But the for, as far as display, the way it looks on top, it, it is kind of nice. Um, it feels cheap underneath, though. But the looks portion of it looks fairly decent. I mean, this this will get a little messed up if you keep taking them in, out and putting them in. And I just dropped that part because I didn't screw it in all the way. All right, so uh, the little screw is gone. It looks like this, but I, I pulled this one out of the other one. Um, so yeah, so be really careful with these because um, I just totally um, kind of screwed myself over here and now I cannot um, ever get... Uh, I don't know how I'm ever going to get another screw like this. Um, I don't know. We're going to have to see. Maybe I'll try something else. Bring the other one up to like Home Depot or Lowe's or something like that. Fortunately, it will still work without that. That's just the cap. Now, uh, I have to get something else to keep it in there. Otherwise, I won't be able to hang it up. But uh, you won't have that problem. Uh, we're going to continue with the review. So uh, let's take a look at what else you need to get. So this uh, $199 for this set. Don't lose the screw like I did. I am a complete moron. Um, so now... They do have two different types of lightsabers that you can buy for the actual blades. They've got a 36 and a 26. And what are they? They're like uh, $50 for the 36 and then like 45 for the 26. So it's like an extra 100 bucks if you want both sabers to be complete. And that does kind of change things up a little bit. Although that kind of puts it on par with about what you'd expect. I think I spent the 300 bucks for the two Darth Maul sabers. And... Uh, these at least, you know, now you have detachable blades, and so you will put the, uh, you know, this is our shorter one, and so the cool thing is they have these little caps in here, and so you can pull the caps out, and then all the electronics are in there, although you can't really see them very well. Um, we can put these in, and they are going to make the sound, whoop, there we go, all right, it's going to make that sound, and then we can turn them on. All right, pretty cool, and... Even though the cap um, or the uh, the little screw is gone on this one, we can still put it in here and should work about the same. Um, there we go. And these are the white blades that Ahsoka uses in Star Wars Rebels. Why did it go off? Oh, I don't have it in all the way. Hold on. Let me... We've got a... So you got to slide it in and then twist. There we go. I was trying to turn it the wrong way. All right. <laughs> Even with the bottom piece falling off without a screw, it still works. So now one interesting thing about this is because the switch is right here, you can easily accidentally hit it with your hand. Yeah, you can easily do that. So you want to be careful with that. Let's see how they look uh, kind of in without such bright lights on all right, so basically the blade, and I've dimmed the lights a little bit so you can show it, uh, show it off a little bit, is gonna look like, like that. And one of the things that's really cool about these is when you, when you have the impact, it does the yellow flash. Now it's basically the same sound as if you get the white kyber crystal and put that into your custom built, uh, your custom built version you're going to have about the same thing. So we've got this one and that one. So they're pretty cool. And you can see the size difference between the blades is pretty significant. So you get like your little Shoto and then I don't know what they call the longer one. But it's a pretty good effect. Now for comparison's sake, um, there we go. Let's take a look at some of the other ones. So uh, I'm gonna use, uh, I'll start off with Mace Windows. This is Hasbro Black Series. And different sound effect. And that's one different, definite uh, thing. So 
So uh, again, the Hasbro ones don't do the, the you know the the big um, flashy effect, but the sound is timed a little bit better. Where these have a little more of a delay, but I really like the sound in this too. It's definitely got its own unique sound, and that's one of the things about all the different colors of the Galaxy's Edge sabers is they all have a different sound. Now they're very very heavy, and like like this Obi Wan saber is ultra ultra light. You know, for example. And there we have the Obi-Wan Saber. This is also Hasbro Black Series, compared to Ahsoka Replica. Alright. So. And comparing to, this is my custom one with the yellow Kyber Crystal in it. So we're going to compare uh, the white to the yellow. And the cool thing about this is because this one flashes yellow when it's hit, but the yellow, I think, flashes white. Yeah. I kind of like the white and the yellow look together. Kind of makes me wish I could, um, you know, customize these a little bit and go with Ahsoka's blades. And, and kind of have that double, double thing. But I definitely need to get a new screw for this because this is I'm having to hold it right here to keep the whole battery pack from falling out. But that, I don't think that's really a criticism of uh, of the product. That's a criticism of me breaking it during a review because, well, I'm a moron. Well, all right, guys, that is uh, about it for the review. Very cool stuff. I do want to remind you while I put these away that there is a, another round of the giveaway going on right now, so you could enter to win a $25 Amazon gift card. All you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos letting me know which lightsaber is your favorite. Uh, I really like this, and I am super bummed out that I lost that screw, uh, but I am pretty sure... I'll be able to find another one um, because this is, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of, it should be standard enough that I should be able to fit something to go in there. And then the whole thing will be saved. Uh, but yes, I, I do totally like that you get this cool, uh, you know, you got that whole fulcrum symbol in here. It's push button, you know, close. You got a nice case to keep it in. Now, it did say like ages eight and up or something on there. Um, I had to take that off. But they, they have to put that on there. It's like a legal thing. They have to, it's, uh, I'm definitely up. So um, now this this case itself is plastic. It's, uh, I mean, I, it could in theory do with a little bit of a paint job uh, if you really wanted to spice it up. Um, it doesn't feel like it's super, super sturdy plastic. It feels like it's standard toy grade plastic for the case. But, uh, but these are definitely much much higher than that so i'm digging these i'm digging these i wish they made a little sound when they weren't equipped uh but still pretty cool i dig the sabers i'm very very happy with them i like that you get two in one kit it makes for a heavy little box and a great little option to uh to keep them on I actually because of this too i bought two of the, the belt clips so i can wear them both if i wanted to do that i just need to convince my boss to let me bring these to work and then i may slice down my enemies all right, guys. Well, that is all I've got for you today. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the description below. Uh, the, I think these replica sabers are super cool. So, uh, you know, you just don't lose the screw. That's all I got to say. All right. I want to thank my patrons and I want to thank all of you guys so much for your continued support. I want to thank you again for watching. And as always, have a great day.